Well, some may argue that online threats are just words. We don't know what their real intentions are, but there is real fear after what we saw happen in our nation's capital. Some county board members say these are no longer just words. They worry someone may choose to act. It's frightening. I, I, I've been an elected official for many years and I've never been in this position. I've never felt this way before. Criticism as an elected official comes with the job. Do your job. But the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors has been a target for months. They continue to fan the flames of, of conspiracy theorists that has made it so threatening and so scary to even show up to work. I think it's pretty clear that they're saying because we didn't manufacture the result that they wanted to see from this election, that we ought to be hung. Longtime Republican Supervisor Bill Gates says this has gone too far now. These sorts of threats take on a more sinister meaning when you see that people are now going and engaging in violence in the name of political perspectives. Driving the hatred, the board's decision to certify Maricopa County's election results in November and later rejecting subpoenas sent down by some GOP lawmakers asking for a forensic audit of the county's election equipment. Instead, the board chose to have a judge decide if and how they respond. These are members of my own party and they're frustrated and now they're lashing out in there. They're um, suggesting that violence uh, is the way to proceed. I disagree with that. I reject that. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office investigating several threats, not just on websites like this, on social media, even calls and voicemails that came into their offices. On New Year's Eve, they were doxxed, an email addressing patriots asking supporters to mobilize to every one of the five supervisors' homes. They're trying to scare us. They're trying to keep us from doing our jobs. They want to keep us from showing up to work. Even if one person doesn't actually intend to engage in violence, maybe somebody else reads those words and that's the thing that triggers them and then they go out and do it. Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona. Kick out all those political hacks! Kick out all those